Okay, let's take a look at the large function. What exactly is the large function? The large function will show you the largest value in a list given the position you want to see. Best understood by way of example. Here we have a list of all the customer sources that we use to promote the company, how much each source brought in in sales, and let's say we want to see which source brought in the most sales, the second highest amount of sales, and the third highest amount of sales. For starters, we could use the max function to find the largest, but let's do an alternative and see how the large function works. Let's type equal large, open parentheses, select our sales amounts, type a comma, and then type the number one, close parentheses, press enter, and here is the top sales amount. Okay, admittedly nothing to write home about, but now let's make it a little more interesting. Let's say we want to find the second highest sales amount in our list. Here is where we can leverage the large function to our advantage. Let's type out equal, large, open parentheses, select our sales, type a comma, then the number two, close parentheses, press enter, and there's the second highest amount in our list. And just for fun, let's figure out the third highest amount in our list. And there we go. Now that we have an idea of how the large function works, let's see a more practical example. Let's say the boss wants us to add up the top three, five, and seven of our sales amounts. To solve this, we'll have to ask Excel to look at these numbers, find the top three, and then add them up. The only wrinkle in this is you need to use something called an array to build the formula. Now, arrays can be pretty deep. They can be very intimidating. In this case, the array will allow us to do multiple calculations by plugging in or passing through multiple values. Admittedly, that sounds a little goofy, but it's not as bad as it seems. So to solve this, we'll go up here and click on the FX icon, do a search for the sum function, and then once you get it, where it says number one, just type the following, large, open parentheses, select your sales amounts, type a comma, do a curly bracket, followed by one, comma, two, comma, three, curly bracket, then close parentheses, so what's inside those curly brackets is going to force Excel to find the top one, two, and three values in our list. Click OK, and there we go. Moving on, now that we know the pattern to use, to get the top five, all we have to do is when we type out the array, make sure to include numbers one through five. Same concept applies for the top seven. We just have to type out numbers one through seven. And just to wrap this up, granted, working with arrays is not the most fun. We're doing a lot of typing, but yet the results that we get are arguably worth it. And I'll see you in the next lesson.